Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this. It's a Jurassic World tour guide brochure. Now, if you remember the original Jurassic Park, uh, Alan Grant uh, was given a tour guide brochure and there were loads in the back of the uh, Jungle Explorer vehicles. And this is the Jurassic World equivalent. This is a direct copy of the original production used prop. Uh, so we're really pleased to have this on the channel. This was sent over by our good friend, Mark Poon, who also made our Jumanji board and our our Nike Mag Back to the Future shoe replicas, the original ones. So today we're going to take a closer look at this, what's inside, the attractions on Jurassic World and what we can expect to see from this brochure. So as you can see it comes in this lovely blue colour scheme, really nicely printed and you can see we've got this sort of like uh, fractal uh, pattern going on in the background, almost like a crystal pattern and you can just see fronds, uh, the silhouettes of fronds of plant life overlapping there, really nice. And it says welcome to Jurassic World and then in various languages it says Jurassic World. Uh, we've got a little bit of product placement for FedEx who printed these brochures. And then on the back, again, we've got more product placement. Just like the original brochure in Jurassic Park had an advert for Kodak on the back, this time we get an advert for American Airlines. And you can see we've got the Jurassic World logo there. Inside, we've got a summary of all the dinosaurs that you can find on the island, and we'll go through these in detail in just a minute. And then on either side, we've got a summary of all the attractions that can be found on Jurassic World. In the middle, we've got a little explanation of a piece of technology that you're given when you join the island. Um, the scan band allows you to access all of the rides and attractions on the island just by scanning your wrist. So that's really cool and we'll take a closer look at that in just a minute. Inside, just like the original Jurassic Park brochure, uh, this one has a map of Isla Nublar and where you can find the attractions geographically on the island, how much space they take up. So this will be really interesting to get a closer idea of what the attractions are and how they're located around each other. So Creatures of the Jurassic summarises all the dinosaurs you can expect to see on Jurassic World. Some really interesting ones there. Um, I hope we get to see all of them. Um, but just like Jurassic Park, I'm sure we won't because if you remember in the original Jurassic Park we didn't get to see all of the dinosaurs on the list. So I'm sure we're only going to see the key ones, but some of the ones I'd like to see are Baryonyx, for example. Um, that would be really interesting. And you can see here some text. Pause if you'd like to read this. And there's the last bit. So again, pause if you'd like to read that text. And then at the bottom here it says, please do not tap on the glass, cross barriers, throw anything into the exhibits, and we'll make excessive noise, tease or call out to the animals. So inside we've got a summary of the bracelet scan band. Again, pause if you'd like to read this. And uh, it's got a little bit more product placement there. So Coca-Cola, Samsung and Starbucks have all sponsored the fictional Jurassic World and I'm sure they've sponsored uh, the actual Jurassic World. <laughs> Here's the park highlights. This just runs through all the attractions on the island. So we've got a gentle giant's petting zoo, T-Rex kingdom, uh, it does say it may be disturbing for small children, pretty cool. Mosasaurus feeding show, I think we've seen that in the trailer. We've got the creation lab, and that's obviously going to be more of the kind of science behind Jurassic World. We've got a jungle trek, which is like a safari ride through a Gallimimus Valley. So I think we saw that in the trailer with the uh, big truck that's driving through. The Avery, so that'd be cool. The Scrambler, and this says an extravaganza of excitement for all family members as you scramble with delight in this spinning ride. So just like John Hammond intended, there are rides on Isla Nublar. There's a nice little detail down here. It says Isla Nublar is a non-smoking clean air environment. I like little details like that. Up here it says Bamboo Forest. Now this is interesting because uh, when me and my wife visited uh, Kauai, uh, there were actually massive bamboo plants because um, all of the plants get drenched in sunlight because it's so close to the equator and uh, they call it plants on steroids because they grow so big. So I wonder if this was inspired by some location scouting. So golf course, what resort wouldn't be complete without a golf course? And uh, this takes up quite a lot of space on the island, I'll show you in just a bit. Gyrosphere ride, and uh, this is hosted by Jimmy Fallon, so that's where Jimmy Fallon the celebrity is going to appear. Underwater observatory, pretty cool. Cretaceous cruise, so I think we saw some of this in the trailer as well. And then we've got a park key uh, which relates to the map and all the symbols on that map. Okay, taking a closer look at the map 
inside. Got this beautiful colourful illustration of the island and a close-up look at the resort which is clustered right in the middle. I don't know if you remember in The Lost World but they talked about the territorial habits of the dinosaurs and that they clustered right in the centre of Isla Sauna. Now this is Isla Nublar so they might not do the same thing but it's funny that the resort is bang smack in the middle. Uh, we've got the Isla Nublar there in a classic Jurassic Park font. We've got Jurassic World logo, got a nice north compass. Here's the area of the island that we don't know too much about, um, but we guess that this is the remnants of the original Jurassic Park because if you see in the trailer in the control room, this area on the map is actually marked as restricted. Also, there's a big landmark here, a big volcano. And it's been in all the maps, so whether we're going to get some kind of volcanic eruption just to add to the chaos in the film, we'll have to wait and see. Another thing to note is that the gyrosphere ride here is quite north on the island and in the trailer we saw that the gyrospheres get attacked by a dinosaur. Uh, you can see the wreckage being inspected by Chris Pratt so it makes sense it being this north of the island if there is something that's sort of up here that they've restricted off. Uh, further down you can see the resort here with all of the main attractions clustered in the middle, uh, the Mosasaur feeding rotunda that we saw in the trailer and also this would have been the path that the camera took across the monorail if you remember. And then down here we've got the golf course which takes up a big portion of the island. Uh, we've got the botanical gardens here, we've got the bamboo gardens, hotels are on site, um, there's the Cretaceous Cruise which is uh, the river ride that we saw in the trailer, the Avery's up here, the Gallimimus Safari trip is up here. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice map, nice and explanatory. If you want to read this text do pause. Uh, same down here if you want to read this text. And then here's uh, a closer look at the key. Okay guys, so that was today's look at the Jurassic World Tour brochure. If you've got any questions about this brochure, just leave them uh, down below. If you've got this far in the video, I'd like you to leave a comment with the words Indominus Rex in it, please. Just so I know you've got this far in the video. Okay guys, in the meantime, rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.